Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.19 from Sadiku book. So the question is in the circuit of figure 7.99, find IT for T greater than 0 if I0 is equal to 6 ampere. Okay, we have a dependent current source here. Okay, let's do some analysis here. So maybe, maybe let set this as our ground here and let's name this node here as node a okay and then i want to do loop analysis here maybe let's name this loop as i1 and this loop here as i2 right and because this is the same so this is i1 here and this 0.5 i also 0.5 okay that means that this current here is also i2 so this is i1 and that is i2 we can do kcl at node a right kcl at node a okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes in okay the current that goes in is just i1 okay let's write i1 there and then there are two currents that goes out this one that will be 0.5 i1 and then plus i2 right so i will have i2 here good and then so I will have let's move this 0.5 I1 to the left hand side so 1 minus 0.5 is just 0.5 I1 is equal to I2 or we can rewrite it as I2 is equal to 0.5 I1 okay maybe let's save this as equation number one okay Okay, because we have a dependent current source here, we cannot know the voltage here. So we need to use super loop here. So we will have our super loop, the green one here, like this. Okay, so let's do KVL at the super loop, the green one there. So I I write, I draw the KVL as the green loop here. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's do analysis here. So I will have 10 ohm, but it is resistance. So we need to multiply it by the current to get voltage. So we will have 10 I1. Okay, that is good. And then plus okay the voltage in an inductor is l di dt the inductance is 6 henry so i will have 6 there and then di1 over dt okay all good here and then plus i will have 40 there but the current that flowing to this resistor is i2 so i will have i2 here Okay, all of that will equal to zero. Okay, but remember that I2 is 0.5 I1. So we can make this equation all in I1. So I'll have 10 I1 plus 6 di1 over dt. That is not equal. That is plus. Then I will have plus 40 I2. That will be 0.5 I1 all of that will equal to zero okay so we'll have 10 i1 plus 6 di1 over dt this is the i1 right and then plus 40 times 0 0.5 that will be 20 20 i1 all of that equal to zero okay 10 plus 20 that will be 30 so i will have 6 di1 over dt 
class 30 I1 is equal to 0. Let's divide both sides by 6. So I will have di1 over dt plus 5i1 equal 0. Okay, but then i1 is equal to i, remember? So I can rewrite this as di over dt plus 5i is equal to 0. Okay, maybe our slide is full let's clean this up so we have this first order differential equation and then this our initial condition is i0 is equal to 6 ampere so we reduce a circuit problem into differential equation problem let's solve the rest okay now let's solve this differential equation i think we can use separable differential equation here so let's move this 5i to the right hand side so i'll have di over dt is equal to minus 5i. Okay, now let's swap this i and dt. So we will have di over dt is equal to minus 5 dt. Okay, we can integrate both sides. On the left hand side here, I will have uh, the natural log of i. And then on the right hand side, I will have minus 5t plus some constant. Okay, so we can rewrite this. So I will have it is equal to e to the minus 5t plus some constant. Or I can rewrite that as it is equal to the e to the c, e to the minus 5t. But then e to the c is just a constant. So I will have it is equal to a e to the minus 5t. Good. But then we have our initial condition here. i0 is equal to 6 ampere. So I will have i0 is equal to 6 ampere. i0 means that we replace this t by 0. So that will be a e to the minus 5 multiplied by t. The t is 0. So I will have 0 here. And all of that will equal to 6. And so I will have minus 5 times 0 is just 0. e to the 0 equals to 6. But everything but 0 uh, with the power of 0 will become 1. So I will have a multiplied by 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, a is equal to 6. And we can substitute this a is equal to 6 to this function here. So we will have it is equal to 6 e to the minus 5t. Uh, and the unit here is ampere because this is Henry. This is ohm all in the SI unit, so no problem. And this is 4t greater than 0. And I think that's all for this problem. This is our final answer. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.